Sally Sidhupa and welcome to my channel which is Complemental Economics. And today's class it's about profit maximization. So in the fourth chapter already I'm done with the two videos and this is the third video which I will be doing on the third question. The third question talks about if you want to make a profit maximization, what are the conditions you have to fulfill? That too they have asked perfectly two conditions. The two conditions what they are asking that is P should be equal to MC and the second condition which you have to explain that is MC must be non-decreasing at Q0. So any firm if, you, if they are really going to produce, they are going to involve themselves in the production process, what they are going to think, what their objective is, that definitely their pure objective is profit. So how are they going to gain the profit, how are they going to capture the profit making in the business. To reach that, they have to fulfill three conditions. The three conditions if they are going to fulfill, then only the chances are that they are going to get more profit, yeah, profit maximization is possible. What are these three uh, conditions are? The first condition what they have to fulfill, that is P should be equal to MC. P is nothing but price, MC is nothing but marginal cost. The price should be equal to marginal cost. And the second condition they have to fulfill, that is MC must be non-decreasing at Q0. And the third question, what they have to fulfill, that is the shorter and the longer. If we have a short run, so we have to fulfill these three. If we have a long run, then these all long run theory we have to apply. So in the short run, price should be greater than ABC, average variable cost. Price should be greater than average variable cost. In the long run, price should be greater than AC because in the long run you are already aware of we do not have the ABC, we do not have the variable cost because every cost is a variable cost in the long run. So you have to remember third, uh, second, first chapter to think about to analyze this particular chapter. So now, if you want to fulfill this all chapter, so what exactly profit? How are you going to measure the profit? To measure profit, you have a formula that is pi. This is a, a word what we use, it's simple, we use it to talk about profit. This is nothing but a profit. Pi is equal to PR minus TC. TR is total revenue minus TC is total cost. TR minus TC. What is the total revenue you are going to get? If you are going to subtract that with the total cost, the expenditure what you have made to produce any particular good, yeah, total goods. If you are going to subtract it, you are going to get the profit. That total cost what you have spent and total income, yeah, returns what you have get. So if you are going to subtract it, you are going to get the uh, profit. So let me talk about the uh, first, which uh, the first condition, P should be equal to MC. See, uh, in the exact previous class, we have already discussed about, so total revenue, marginal revenue and average revenue. Through that, we already got to know price in the perfect competition. The chapter is perfect competition. The topic is profit maximization, but the chapter is uh, perfect competition in that. Perfect competition, always price is equal to AR and AR is equal to MR. That means if the price is 10 rupees, average revenue is also 10 and with that marginal revenue is also 10 rupees. That is the thing what we have learned exact previous video. And after this, so what it says is MR is equal to MC. See here, MC is here. P, they say that P is equal to MC. Okay. At the same time, P is equal to AR. AR is equal to MR. Isn't it? P should be equal to MC. At the same time, perfect competition says for the profit maximization, P should be equal to MC. In the profit, 
by Q6 what you are seeing that all will be quantities and MC this particular curve shape what you see that is U shaped a broad U shape that will be marginal cost and two points are visible the point A and the point B. What is happening with the point A and the point B here? So the first condition. The first condition says if you want the profit maximization, if you want to survive more, if you want to get more and more profit. So let's talk about the first condition. Are you fulfilling the first condition? Let's talk about the first condition. The first condition says P should be equal to MC. Is it equal anywhere here? P is here. This is the line of P. P is equal to MC in this point. Can you see? And this point also. So, P is equal to MC in two points. That is point A and point B. So, we are totally succeeded in the first diagram. The first condition we already fulfilled. The first condition says P should be equal to MC in any point. So, we proved in two point P is equal to MC. Point A and point B. So, we are done with the first condition. And the second condition. To fulfill the second condition, it says MC must be not decreasing at Q0. It should not, it should be MC must be non-decreasing. That means in any point, MC is going to decrease. That means definitely profit will be less. So that's why it should be non-decreasing. MC should be non-decreasing. So before Q1, if you observe. So before Q1, I'm talking about. If you talk about the before Q1, what you're seeing is MC is decreasing. Can you see this? MC is decreasing. Before Q1, that means definitely it is Q0. It is decreasing. MC curve is decreasing. So definitely at the point Q1 also, before Q1, at point Q1 also, both the side, yeah, at point A, when quantities are placed Q1, and in the point of A, the MC curve is downward sloping. That means MC is decreasing. So, if MC is decreasing, that means it is not the profit maximization. So, we have to eliminate point A, even though we have succeeded proving uh, P is equal to MC in point A. But we couldn't prove the second condition which says MC, MC should be not decreasing at Q0. But here, what we are seeing is MC is decreasing. And next. After this particular point, MC started decreasing, but it is nowhere equal to M, you know, P. MC is here and P is here. So these all points, we cannot prove the first condition only. And this point, point where we are supplying the Q2. If you are talking about the Q2, MC is lesser than P. P point is here and MC point is here. So, P and MC where both are going in the opposite way. So definitely P is greater than the MC curve. If P is greater than the MC curve, so definitely we cannot say that Q2 is the perfect quantity. So definitely Q2 is not the quantity which we feel like supplying. If you supply also profit maximization is not possible. So let's talk about the Q3. If you are talking about the Q3, if you see here, the Q3 point is here and price is here. Q3 were again exactly like a Q2. Q3 also, in the Q3 also, MC is lesser than the price. Price is here, MC is here. So, price is greater than MC. So, which is not right. Again, this point is not possible for to get maximize your profit. So let's talk about Q4. Is it Q4 is possible? Yes, Q4 is possible because we have proven the first condition. First condition says P must be equal to MC. So you can see here P is equal to MC. MC curve is here, P point is here. They both, the first condition is proven. So at the same time, MC is increasing in this point. It's not decreasing, it is increasing. So for that reason, B is the perfect one. Is B is the right one? Exactly. Point B is the right point to supply. So definitely what should be the 
client really they agreed to supply if any firm want to make a good profit if they want to increase the profit if they are expecting profit maximization their supply should be q4 the quantity supply what they should supply that should be q4 and what about q5 here if you are talking about the q5 in the q5 what is happening here mc is here and price is here that means in this point mc is greater than the price if mc is greater than price again we are not able to fulfill the first condition so definitely q5 is a not a combination where you going to get the maximum profit so then what about the last one which is the q6 is it possible in a q6 so if you say the q6 also mc curve is here and price is here again just like a q5 quantity mc is greater than price so mc is greater than the price again if mc is greater than the price it's not going to be possible because p should be equal to mc here mc is greater than the price so definitely we are not fulfilling the first condition only so that's why qx q6 is also the not the quantity which you feel like supply to get the maximum profit you know your maximum profit yeah, for the profit maximization in this sense only two points you succeeded to prove the first condition a and b if you continue with the second condition the second condition says mc should not be not decreasing but unfortunately here it is decreasing and it here it is increasing so only point b is the point where profit maximization is possible by applying only two conditions we have fulfilled the two conditions yeah third condition is there but right now for this particular question they have to you know they ask for only two condition explain please do explain the condition for the profit maximization p should be equal to mc mc and mc must be non decreasing they have asked for only two conditions so we tried solving the two conditions now so first condition point a and point b p is equal to mc the first condition is fulfilled the second condition what it says it should be non decreasing if point a it is decreasing point b it is increasing so point b is the perfect point where a firm can expect profit maximization so because of that q4 is the perfect quantity q4 is going to supply so definitely the quantity uh, you know is going to match with the profit maximization so the theory is that much only so in this q3 q2 q1 price is greater than the mc q5 q6 mc is greater than the price so in only this point both the conditions are fulfilled so yes b is the perfect point to get the maximum profit thank you so much so in the next video i'll be meeting with a uh, one more few interesting concept i hope you understood exactly what i'm trying to reach you guys so if you really liking my videos 